It is Tuesday night. It is 8 o'clock. Do you know where your DJ's at? I know where I'm at. I'm here with you. Yes, again, it's another DJ roundtable and another great show about to be played or about to be watched or about to be talked to, depending on which way you look at it. We got some great DJs here from all around the world and all around the country. Unfortunately, we don't have any international DJs today, but we have our solid crew here from across the country that's represented by a lot of different DJs doing a lot of different things. Uh, we also have some people in different areas. Uh, as you see, uh, Taylor and Jordan, they're enjoying themselves in the nice, beautiful Chicagoland uh, summer. Um, and of course, we have Dwayne over there in beautiful Ohio. We have uh, good old Tommy. He's in, just uh, to the south of me a little bit and uh, Tad West. And then uh, Brentley up in the land of cheese. And then we have our Carolina guys, both South and North Carolina, both represented here tonight. And we want to thank them all for being here. And we want to thank you for watching the show. And as I've asked many times before, please help me slay the YouTube algorithm. It is a massive, savage beast. And it's a hard thing to do because they look at you know views. They look at a lot of different things. So if you could help me and do me a favor, make sure you click the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check your bell icon. And do one more step. Share the video, share the video with some other DJs, share the video with some other people. Be greatly appreciated. Uh, as always, I I join you from beautiful Chicagoland as well. And in my uh, wonderful office shared by, you can kind of see my dog's bed over there. <laughs> so if you see, that's not an area for me to nap over there. It's not a bed or something like that. For me, that's a bed for my dog with her pillow. Uh, she, sometimes she comes and joins. So sometimes you see her there. Sometimes you see her here. But, you know, again, she has she's not making her presence known right now because she's hiding out because there's been the thunderstorms in the area. With that said, let's go on with everything going on with the show. We were just talking a minute or two before joining uh, everything and we're coming in talking about taking some personal time and taking vacation. And. The, the big thing is that taking some personal time, taking some vacation to uh, do stuff, I always like to ask, uh, you know, how do you do it? But here's a, here's a caveat to the question. When you do take time off, how do you schedule around that time? Do you have to take a say, hey, you know what, two weeks in July or a week in August, or do I wait till January and February when it's less busy to do stuff, less gigs, to take some time off? Or... Do I say, hey, I have nothing scheduled for this week in June. Uh, you know what? I'm going to block it off and go on vacation and just take a couple of days for myself, even just walking around the house or go into, in our case, the Wisconsin Dells or go into another amusement park or whatever, just taking a day for yourself and with family and enjoy it. How do you schedule yourself to do that? Do you look at that as a thing to schedule or you look at it as an opportune thing that you go, hey, I'm going to get it when I can get in. So I'm going to first start with Jeff in beautiful uh, North Carolina and ask him, how do you take time? How do you schedule that time? And um, what do you usually do? Well, for me, it's usually a uh, family vacation. So it's usually scheduled, you know, months in advance. So um, I usually uh, do not have anything booked around that time. We just, um, you know, we're usually planning beach trips or, or a cruise or flying to see friends or whatever, you know, six to nine, sometimes 12 months in advance. So, uh, you know, just, um, we usually plan that usually in spring and summer. Um, so those are, you know, given times usually around July 4th, uh, sometimes in March. So those times I just usually try to keep open. Is there, um, there, is there a rhyme or reason when you do it? Like you're trying to, I know you got some kids and with summer, stuff like that, them out of school or back from school, or maybe your other half with her vacation, do you try to line things up to make sure it fits that, that narrative? Or do you just say, Hey, oh, yeah. I'm off. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, I've got a 14 and a 16 year old, two, two boys. And, uh, so we have to, you know, plan around their schedules in school and soccer and various things. So, 
Um, so we're usually planning pretty far out. So it, it's uh, it's not that difficult, but uh, yeah, you do have to make plans to um, to you know make make uh, time for yourself. Yeah, and that that's that again, that's the important thing. Next one, let's go to beautiful South Carolina and ask Hunter over there. Uh Hunter, how do you uh set yourself up to have some time with your family? I know you're uh you have family up in uh was it North Dakota, I believe? Uh and then you have was, some family uh, in other South areas Dakota. too. South Dakota. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah, it was South Dakota, and which is my brother and sister, they're going to school. We usually don't really visit them all that much and i always have time with my for my family since i'm not really that busy i haven't been really busy since about 2022 so i've been off and on doing gigs and we always me and the you know clients always plan time for their event whenever i'm like free so i always have time for myself and dj like in september i'm going on a disney cruise to celebrate my 30th birthday which happened in april's and i'm djing a wedding on the 29th so that really works out okay so again you're, you're you usually plan your trips around your schedule uh yeah. is it any time any time that you say i need to take off for this date or that day like your birthday or holiday or anything or you just well, sit there and see what never, happens yeah. Well, that never really happens because I barely get any DJ gigs around that time. I never get DJ gigs, hardly ever, probably since 2022. Okay. I like, yeah, because my DJ business has been going down the toilet in recent years. Well, we need we need to change that around for you. <laughs> we got we got to get you some gigs, especially there in South Carolina. We got to hit you, get you some gigs there. Well, there aren't that many gig opportunities here. <laughs> it's mostly around beach tourism and stuff like that. So I never really have any, you know. But you did get a chance to DJ at the fireworks store. Oh, yeah, for the 4th of July. That was mainly to help my mom out. Which there is a gig log for that on yeah. his channel. Make sure you check out his channel. All the links are down below for everyone's channel. So make sure you go to their YouTube channels and check it out. Only when it doesn't have a YouTube channel, which I want them to have a YouTube channel, are my friends in Indiana, Taylor and Jordan. I, I, I really would like to see you guys do that. I, they have Instagram. I do connect your Instagram on there. So show them love on Instagram. But Instagram how do you guys. Facebook. Oh, their Facebook the as website. well. But how do you guys, I know we were talking before, you guys you guys are going up to the Dells, but how do you schedule that? How do you, do you, do you block a week off or two and say, hey, you know, this week or two, I'm going to do that? Or you just look at, hey, there's no bookings here. Let's plan something for that weekend. Let's, let's hold it off. Is, is that what you do? Uh, typically, we gear for Sunday and like early week stuff uh, is one way, like when we went to... Uh, great wolf lodge a couple months ago we went sunday monday tuesday um we kind of gear towards that knowing that i'm probably going to be working on a saturday or we're going to have something going on but also we do we'll like look at the calendar um and like the dells we didn't schedule it that far out so we just looked at a weekend that we weren't really doing anything even though we, we typically like to go during the week anyways just that's when we go, but yeah, I gear towards trying to avoid just like the, like the seminars and stuff where they kind of avoid Saturdays, but we do do a trip with uh, my family and, you know, they ain't as concerned, but we usually book that six, eight months out. So we have time to, you know, just block it out like we would a gig. Yeah. And that's, that's one of the important things is that, Again, I always say this, taking time for everything. I, I will just say, with the two of you guys in the microphones, I feel like I'm interviewing celebrities. They're on this cool <laughs> look, this cool deck. I just need some, like, like, like you guys are, like, from in Hollywood. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we don't, right. We don't, have, we, don't have, we don't have salsas here. <laughs> we don't have salsas here because he's the closest to Hollywood we have. But it, it, it's one of the things that, like, man, it's like you guys are celebrities sitting back chilling, like, talking to the microphone. I love it. Well, like, I this love is the it. only place it. we can get away from the kids we thought and they're still bothering they, us <laughs> they, they, that's not a problem they're out there having fun enjoying yourself you know, the, the, this is one of the things i remember i'm sure a lot of people here remember when they were kids my parents would send me outside go outside go play go play ball go play your friends get outside it's great to see that you know they want them tied to video games 
we all like, you know, again, as, as an adult who likes video games, we like our video games, but getting outside, having fun, spend some time in the sun, spend some, t- some time outside, just fresh air, running around. It's great. Definitely. So I'm glad glad to hear you guys are going to enjoy yourself, especially your family and stuff like that. That's a big stuff. I'm going to go over to Dwayne and over in beautiful Ohio, who uh, is unfortunately has to work all summer because he is uh, he is a school teacher for not for much longer. He's going to, he's approaching his retirement, which we are he's counting down the days till then until so he has more freedom to follow his passion of music, either via a band or via DJ or even teaching it. But how do you take time off, especially now with, again, you're doing summer school, you have these gigs. How do you take some time for yourself, a day or two, whatever? Do you do you try and look at, hey, I don't have any gigs this weekend. I'm going to go to Columbus or I'm going to go to what, whatever uh, park there is, theme park, or whatever, and go with the family and take them to somewhere. We're going to go out to dinner. We're going to spend overnight at a hotel. How do you How do you do that? How do you figure that out, especially your schedule? Oh, my because it's, it's basically just with school and teaching private lessons. Those are the only ones. Oh, church, because I'm the drummer and the AV guy. So those are the only ones where I have to, like, plan or let them know in advance when to do something. But as far as the DJ and all that, it's what's like wherever comes first, either the gig or when we plan to do something. So wherever comes first, that's the one that I pick. But I try to schedule around when I'm like I'm not busy doing that different parts of the um the year. So there's like a downtime during the summer. There's like a downtime in between like September into November. And then I have down a uh, downtime like during the spring. So I try to do all my heavy scheduling around that time. And that's one of the things that again, like for you, you, you like most of us here are burning candle at both ends. I know Jeff with his his job, uh, cool thing, all the stuff he's got going on. Jordan and Taylor, they got so many irons in the fire. I, I don't think you can even see the fire. Uh, you yourself, you have the candle burner at both ends. Uh, Brentley's got all these club gigs and all these uh, events, and then uh, you know you have uh, Tommy here. He's also got stuff rocking. He may be not be in school right now, but he's got like a full schedule as well. And again, if you follow their, their social media, they have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but one of the things, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dixon, is with coming up again, like for your, you're retiring your regular full-time job. And thank, you know, thank you for your service. Thank you for everything you've done in the years you've done in there. Are you going to take some time now when that's done to say, hey, I'm going to take a break for a little bit. I'm going to maybe go on a cruise or something or just go fishing on Lake Michigan or on not on Lake Michigan, but the one of the great lakes or go, go, go somewhere and just relax for a day or two. Or you're just going to hit the, the the pavement and keep going and keep running. No, I'm going to, I'm going to take it easy and chill out. There so, we go. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting on um, the week weekend of August 4th, my birthday weekend. So I won't, so SummerSlam is coming to Cleveland. So I'll be at SummerSlam Friday and Saturday night, and then um, we are planning on taking my niece to her um, her school or college. So we're going to take a trip and spend some time down there too. And then go back to school, finish the last two weeks, and then chill out for a second. Because really, I can't do anything for 60 days as far as school is concerned. So retiring as retire, a, into retirement, yeah. We yeah, don't, we want like, to wait. But we also mm-hmm. want you to relax and enjoy yourself, you know, and that's the thing you worked you worked hard you you need to have some time to just sit back and and enjoy it. I'm sure you got some gigs probably lined up to do your uh, part time job, which will become your full time job with DJ, and you'll be a full time DJ. So again, we're going to look forward to some gig logs, some more information from you. It's always great seeing stuff on the YouTube's with your stuff, and uh, you know it, it's it's fantastic. And I, I really am very very happy for you that uh, you're now going to. Uh, not be not have the need to work all the time, but still be able to do stuff and have your business and drive your business even more so you can grow that end of your aspect of your life. That's that's a great thing. Speaking of a man who does a lot of business, Tommy, if it's not school, you're out there, you know, join the clubs and you're doing clubs and you're I can't say hanging out because every time I see pictures of you, I mean, you have people around you. It, it's again, you're like you're like mini Tiesto or a mini Cascade or a mini, <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's like little, uh, 
you know, except little Wayne, we're gonna call you a uh, little uh, whoever, you know, little marshmallow or something. Just don't put a helmet on, please. No, 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 helmet. Helmet. I, won't be no wearing helmet. I, I don't even like wearing sunglasses when I'm DJing, so I yeah, can't imagine. It's a like, it's like, man, come on now. You the helmet, the, the, the you know, Def Punk started it. It's like, okay, that's cool, but come on, man, you know, just <laughs> but uh. Now that you're out there doing that stuff and, and you're having fun in the clubs and you're doing the events, how do you, again, back from school, because, again, you have your summertime that you're here back here, not up in school, how do you kind of set some time off to say, hey, I'm going to go here or there? I know you just came back from the Dells. You were just there uh, last week enjoying yourself up there. But how do you kind of schedule that? Do you, like, say, hey, you know what, this week – um, or the this weekend or this day here, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to uh, schedule any gigs. Or hey, you know there was no gig scheduled for this time. I'm just going to go ahead and go on vacation. How do you do that? How do you set yourself up for that? Uh, I mean, so like a lot of my travel that I'll do now is like it'll be like a family trip or something. So in that case, it's dates set aside way in advance, and then I just know like I'm not going to book anything these days. And then like. There are times, too, if I know that I'm not booked, say, like, two weeks out and uh, there's something I want to do, then I'll just, you know, purposefully mark that date off my calendar so that even if I did receive some sort of an inquiry last minute, then I would just take that time off for myself to do whatever I want to do, hang out with friends or take a little trip, go somewhere. I think it's important to give yourself some time off from here, like, here and there, because it's easy to get burnt out if you're constantly on the move every single weekend. You got to give yourself a little bit of time to just relax. Yeah. And that, that's one of the things I, I know a few DJs who are, they got to constantly be going and constantly going places, traveling, going to events, doing events. Uh, you know, they have their other job that they, they're, they're trying to do that. That may involve some traveling. It, it's, it's hard, you know, it's, it's hard. And especially you have friends and family. Again, Tommy, you're young, you have brothers and sisters and mom and dad you want to spend time with. I have, you know, daughter and granddaughter and, you know, all the other family, extended family that I want to spend time with. But it's hard a lot of times, especially like right now um, with Tulip just getting over surgeries week three after her surgery. She's still restricted on she can't do much. So we can't have her granddaughter over because our granddaughter's going to run. She's going on nine years old. She wants to run around and have fun with Tulip, our dog. So she can't do that, which, which stinks. And the other part of that is that, you know, we don't want to leave her alone too much because we're trying to keep her calm. So she's not running around. She's restricted. She can't go on to our couch. She can't go on to our chairs. So she's restricted what she can do. Uh, you know, so it's it's one of the things that it's very difficult. And it, it's sometimes you got to schedule things around there. Right now, I am very happy that the way everything worked out, uh, July, for the most part, other than one wedding, uh, we were pretty, pretty quiet in the beginning part of August. We we're kind of quiet too, so that way you can concentrate and make sure uh, Tulip is healthy. But at the end of August, I start ramping up and start going into the stratosphere with business again. And it, it, again, it, it's kind of time that you kind of stop to smell the roses a little bit. And I hope you have time to do that. And I know you're always busy and, and cranking out stuff, and that's that's a big thing. Talk about a man who cranks out a lot of things. Uh, Brentley up there in the beautiful state of Wisconsin. If he's not in a club DJing and dealing with lacrosse best people that might be on Code Blue Cam, or he is uh, in a Facebook uh, showing off all his uh, his wares, or he's taking pictures of, of himself in front of his rig at a gig, and he's looking like a superstar that he is. And I'm sure he's got plenty of women uh, who are asking for his uh, phone number or email address or getting his slip in his dms <laughs> you're you're muted we don't do that dating thing oh uh, well hey you never know oh, no. i'm over oh i i know here <laughs> i'll take the henry rollins approach to it all just don't <laughs> honestly guys true there is no reason to and this is coming from, I have to be the most cynical and jaded person about this. But I can think of no reason whatsoever for two people to get married except for the tax break. And that's it. 
I, uh, I, don't think I, I, that, could I think I think love health is health insurance, long. health insurance. Well, also love. Love is a big factor there. Love is one of those dangerous four letter words that usually ends in a train wreck. Oh, oh, oh. Brentley is jaded right oh, I now. Am so jaded. <laughs> I am so Who jaded hurts about you? that. Topic. <laughs> I mean, well, that yeah. sound bad. I, I got twenty five years, August twenty second, with my with with my wife. Uh, Jeff, how many years are you married with your lovely wife? Twenty one. Twenty one years. I will okay, have to yeah. say, uh, me and Taylor would not get caught dead, like, at a ceremony. We would probably, like, you know, on South Park, when, is it Kyle who throws up every time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. me. I mean. I think it was Stan. It was yeah, Stan. That Stan. Was Stan? Stan. <laughs> Stan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, Mira and I, Mira and me and the kid do watch South Park. <laughs> and, and Mr. Dixon, how you you've been together with your other half for how many years? Twenty. Twenty. Mm -hmm. See, there, there's See, hope for you, Bradley. But again, you, no, you I'm, not, I'm not even wasting my time. <laughs> I have several other better, especially now that I'm a single op again. There's so many better things to do. It's so nice. Yeah, I, I even cleaned the garage today. It was beautiful. You can come so you're on. not you're not part yeah. of your group anymore. Nope. What? Okay. We could we could talk later what happened, but hopefully yeah, it was good. But, I, but best of both were best best for both of us. Just where we're going. But yeah. yeah, no love is dangerous. Love has all these you know implications and ramifications that come with it. That that's just too taxing, too stressful. Forget it all. <laughs> I agree. I don't know. I, 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 I like the love. Love, love is great. Love it. Love is love is great. Sometimes yeah, it can be a little roller coaster, but it's great. You want to turn your volume up a hair because you're a little quiet. All right. And then uh, how is do that you better? take now that yeah, that's better. How do you take some time for yourself and for your daughter? Because I know you got stuff going. You got your mom, which you've been down here in Chicago land a few times for your mom. You have some stuff going yeah. on with that. But how do you take time to spend time with your daughter? Because what she's 11 12 or whatever and you're seeing her growing up yeah. you know quicker and quicker before she's in high school next minute she's bringing going to be boys over uh you know it it's it, because it, she can become you know she can become a woman one day i know hey I, hey you know what yeah. i was in the same boat you're in i'm way in more advanced than you are remember i already been through all this <laughs> it's not it's not crystal ball i have it's knowledge i have from going through it and it's like no 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 i tell my daughter i used to tell my daughter no 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 boys all of a sudden hey there's my boyfriend oh god <laughs> but how do you uh, spend time I'm how do you take time that. So when it comes part and parcel, since I don't work a day job, I'm lucky enough to be able to hang out with my, you know, with Mira every, you know, day after school. So from three o'clock until bedtime, I'm home now gigging around that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you know, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday anyway, and Saturday for that matter is pretty painful because I'm up, you know, getting her ready for school at six, six 30 in the morning. And I might get like a 45 minute nap throughout the course of the day, but thereafter I'm at a gig until two in the, I'm usually not in bed until two or three in the morning. So that is just the brutal part of it. But I get to spend all these quality informative years with her right from the get go. Now, when it comes to vacations, well, for myself, I don't care. I, and I will, I joke with this about a lot, you know, about, a, about it with a lot of people that. I burned up all of my free time before I turned 40. I spent 40 some year, I'll say even 43 years of my life screwing off, doing all sorts of things I shouldn't have been doing. And now, you know, that I'm 51, <laughs> as we see, you know, approach the end of our years, we have X number of viable years left where we can still be productive, make the money we need to make and all that. So because I had my fun already, in my personal opinion, I don't have time for personal time. And I'm just not taking it anymore. If it's free time, like if Mira's gone, like right now, for example, she's playing outside. I'll spend the entire night working or while she's asleep, I'm working. There's no point in me not taking that time and using it effectively to better both me and my child's life. 
Now, when it comes to like vacation time for the kid, that's, you know, like we're going to the Dells. It, like I'm going down to Chicago for the Glenwood Avenue Arts Fest in my old neighborhood. And that's the third Sunday of August. I'm literally going to be there for like 10 hours before we turn around, run up to Kenosha to Pleasant Prairie to go to the mall there, and then head up to the Wisconsin Dells for a few days. So I kind of plan any free time around what my gig schedule is. When it comes to my mom, my mom and I have an agreement that if she needs me to come down, it's got to be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and when or Wednesday, so I can be back by Wednesday night and gigging. Unless it's dire, then of course, the only things I'm not going to miss or skip out on is somebody's wedding. At the point my mom is in the hospital and I have a club gig, I just as soon lose the residency and the club gig just to be there with my mom. Because no amount of money is ever going to bring those last few moments back that I could be spending with her. So and true. I learned that when my dad passed 30, almost 30 years ago now. God, it, it was 30, almost, yeah, like eight, 19 years ago. But I would get, you know, those last few months that he was alive, I chair, and we knew it, we knew it was the end. He wasn't coming back. So we got to spend those last few months until he passed getting to know each other. You can't trade that in for the world. There's no gig or money that would ever replace that, you know, except, you know, somebody's wedding. That's the only thing I wouldn't go see my mom for. And at that point, as soon as the gig wedding is over, I'm on the first ride back home. But so that's how I plan my daughter's free time and being with my mom. Aside from that, it's I think it's pretty evident that you'll see me online at four in the morning You'll, or you'll see the Facebook icon up and I'm probably working on something on one of my apps, trying to get, you know, promo ready, booking stuff or prepping wedding and music. But I'm always trying to use my time that I'm awake productively. I think it was, was it Einstein or Edison who said there's 24 hour usable hours in a day? I have to believe that and really go with it because it's propelled me this far. Drive is a key important thing, but also taking time out for oh, yeah. yourself. And that, that's why I'm, I'm glad to hear, again, I've, ta I've talked about the subject before, taking some time for yourself, and it's one of the things that I, I like to drive that home, that I really feel that us as, you know, small business owners is an important thing. Adrian E., what's going on? I saw you chatting a little bit ago, and I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to say hi to you, uh, but I wanted to say hi to you. And then he said, uh, what's popping, uh, Brentley? Uh, at his nine to five job, I have selected weeks ahead of time. I don't have any uh, event booked during a particular time in the future. And that's where I choose to block out uh, that time. That is that is very, very important. Again, that's that's one of the things as a business owner we try to do. I know some DJs, hey, there's 52 weeks in a year. Every weekend I got to be working. Every, but how do you take some time for yourself? You need to re, you know, recharge your batteries basically. And spending time, especially with family, if you have children or parents or brothers and sisters or girlfriend, wife, husband, whatever, spending time with those people who you care about or groups you care about, it could be church, it could be anything. Those are the important things. I know cool thing. He's very, very um, much in his church, does a lot of stuff with his church, does stuff with his parents. I know Dwayne does stuff with his his uh, his church. Uh, you know, I like to go to mass as a Catholic. You know, when I can, I haven't been in a while. I know I, I need to go in the confession booth and confess my sins as a Catholic. But uh, that's one of the things that you know uh, that's part of the faith. But it's also a thing is that try and make time for it. And we as people just need to say, hey, you know, how do I? You know, just spend time doing the things I need to do and enjoy myself and have time. And again, I'm glad to hear everyone here is going to do that. The next question I have for everyone, and Brentley was talking about this uh, for a second or two in the chat. Um, yeah, uh, Taylor and Jordan are outside. Uh, uh, Adrian, they're under back. Uh, they're under back deck in beautiful Indiana. Um, so wait, wait, which way to the behind you? Behind you, what way? What which way, which way is that? Is that north, south, east, or west? South. That's south. Okay. Behind me. Okay, yeah. south is behind you. Yep. Okay, so you gotta north look is a little in front of me. <laughs> okay. Yep. So you gotta go north. You gotta go northwest, and that way you point toward uh, 
well, I'll say Comiskey because I'm a, I'm a true Sox fan, but guaranteed rate field. So next time you can do a little chair, make sure you move it out so that way you point northwest, so that way you're pointing toward, you know, <laughs> the Sox. I'll keep and that you can give some, some blessings time. that way. <laughs> I know Brentley would like the Cubs, but, you know, I I, I, I got to say the Sox. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's pouring Homewood? Oh, great. Um Adrian says, is it not raining there yet? And he says it's pouring in Homewood. And it he should is be raining about nine o'clock here. Yeah, they're so. they're pretty far south and uh east of uh of you, but not too crazy far. So yeah, I, I told him when we were coming out before about the weather, uh, because it was raining up here in the western burbs. Um so what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Brentley brought up a, a interesting uh, thing here. He was asking uh the group. What are what CRMs or customer relations management software are you using for your business? And Check Cherry uh, is giving a free demo and a free limited um, account to uh, try it out. And he was talking about it. And I wanted to ask people yeah. about this. How do you manage your customers? Is it, uh, and I, I'll go first, you know, I, I'll go to Brentley next because uh, he was talking about the software. What Trace and I do, we use a couple of different things. We have Square for our credit card processing. Uh, we use, um, through our website and through our email, we have our customer relations, and we keep track through the emails and text messages through uh, Google Voice. Uh, we use uh, Squarespace for our website, but we use um, Network Solutions uh, for our back system and network solutions has a slew, uh, a, a suite of stuff to help with uh, CRM. So I use a combination of that plus for the actual running of music and stuff like that and keeping track of everything the customer is doing in timeline that is Vibo. So it's kind of a three tier system, uh, because we've tried and found what was the best of the best. And sometimes a one tier system does everything, sometimes makes things feel weird or not track right but we found that those those three tiers we know we can keep them separate and watch what happens because sometimes viable may be down or squarespace may be down or square may be down for credit card processing or this may be down and kind of keeping the things separate because we just saw that with the uh software update for a lot of companies affecting airlines and tons of other companies uh with uh cyber uh problems and that's one of the key things is that uh, I, I don't want to put my eggs all in basket, but I'm looking at the software. It seems pretty interesting because they have uh, how to send proposals, uh, text, uh, 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 email and text chats with clients, uh, offer online booking, um, set availability, client portals, contracts, signatures, payments, invoices. So there's a lot of traction there to it. So Brantley, is this software that you use and how, what's your experience with it if you do use it? Well, when I was with Ever After, that was what the CRM that we've been using now since before I joined the company. And it literally is, and this is why I was asking, because you just, you answered the one question, you know, about your setup. That is what I wasn't looking for having three different platforms to deal with. And so the simplicity of uh, Check Cherry is, you know, everything's there. You just have to set up the back end for what you want it to do. And at the pricing of it, yeah, it's not super expensive. It's, you know, adds on to the other subs I have per month, which I guess fine, whatever. And through their- If, if you don't mind asking, well, also, what, what, is, what is the pricing that they, they quote? Uh, it's three, what, 349 for, if you buy a year at once. Okay. And, uh, for, and if your first time deal, you, if you get, there's a code I have to go to find in my email somewhere that you get 30% off of that. So for my first year, I'm going to opt for it anyway, but it's limiting because you're only allowed to have 30, you know, confirmed bookings on your page at a time. So for next year, I'm not so worried about it because all of my bookings in the ever after portal are still there. Part of my exit arrangement with the company that anything I have on the books and put in there, we're keeping, nothing touches it. The deal financially is still the same. Cool. Moving forward, I need my own CRM and I do, you know, I don't want to do it in the 1990, 2000, half this, half that, half the other. I would rather have it all in one straight shot of a portal. And with 
check cherry not only can you do all the back end accounting with it so i can just literally drop that file to quickbooks if i want to or just do it myself so i don't use quick anymore i have all the formulas typed into my spreadsheets already but having the simplicity of it all like you want to add a spotty list go ahead put it in there for me i can now dump that and save that into that portal plus put it on spotify myself so it gives me a lot of options and i was just curious what other people are using to see if there's a better all-in-one solution. And I'm, you know, check cherry. There's, I'm definitely not, don't hate it or dislike it. It's more curiosity. Okay. But again, you're using it then right now, correct? Yeah. So what happens when you hit I've more been, than 30, 30 clients for a year? I'm going to have to up my package. And which what, the what, next one's only like 30 bucks. A month. It's $79 a month for the next tier up, which gives me a hundred books in, bookings a year. Okay. And I would probably wind up having to go that route. But I also, because I know other vendors have certain, like part of the reason some of their packages are different on their site is because their other vendors have said, hey, these two packages, like this one is too big, but this one is too small. Do you have something in the middle for everyone on other aspects of their site and offerings? So I'm wondering, and I'll find out if that might be a possibility. But then again, maybe I should do it and hope I can nail, you know, over 30, you know, over 70 bookings a year to honestly make it viable. See, the one thing I like with Square, when I use for credit card processing, I can do invoices through it. I can do a lot of that stuff. It gives me uh, kind of a spreadsheet, what what we've money we've come out, what deposits are out there. And there, there's kind of no limit to it. We pay, there's a fee we pay every month for enhanced services. Uh, Tracy was here. She'll be able to tell you more about it. Uh, cause she deals with it, but it's, it's, we send out proposals through it. We send a lot of things through square, but the initial, like the email comes to us because a standard email comes in our email box inbox saying, Hey, you know what? Uh, we have, you know, we want our weddings on such a date. We want to have information from you or of course, one of the other portals like the knot and wedding wire and so forth. And it looks like our, uh, our illustrious They're team in Indiana is going inside. So I take it that the rain is hitting them, uh, Adrian. <laughs> so let them get settled there and we'll, we'll go to them in a minute or two, <laughs> but yeah, they're, uh, we want to make sure they're safe and uh, they're nice and dry, but it, it, it's interesting. It, uh, you know, again, this is something that uh, I'm actually going to talk to Tracy about this and see um, if this would fit better for us than what we're doing now. And again, if it's, you know, we have probably more than a hundred um, customers online with uh, stuff going on with this year and next year. And we just got added another cu uh, customer today with a contract. So it, it's, it, it's interesting. So it's very interesting. Um, I'm going to go to uh, Jeff, excuse me. I'm going to go to Jeff in beautiful North Carolina there. Uh, do you have software that you use to track your customers uh, to, you know, do on, offer online bookings or send proposals or how do you communicate with clients with, you know, text and chat? Do you use an all one software or do you use multiple different uh, systems? Um, I use multiple different systems, but mainly I keep it very simple. I'm not uh, subscribing to any, um, you know, major softwares. Uh, I just don't have that many clients to justify the price for that. Uh, so I do it all by hand. And it works fine for me. Um, you know, if I do pick up, um, you know, some clients uh, and it becomes juggling act, that's when, you know, I just, uh, I just, you know, pay more attention to it. But um, I, I don't, um, I don't have that many clients that I am uh, needing to, you know, put them into different software packages. So I, I, I do most of it by hand uh, at this point. Okay. And again, everybody does everything differently. So there's not one, and I, I, I always stress this very heavily. It's not one size fits all. It's one size fits some. And the reason why I say that, because everybody does different things, doesn't mean it's a right or wrong thing, but maybe there is a better way of doing stuff. And, you know, there's always one the saying is there's, there's always a better way to skin a cat, you know, it's one of the things you have to look at and decide for yourself. Is it best for your business? Is it something you want to get into? A uh, cool thing in South Carolina, how do you track your clientele? You just do it through text message or do you have oh, certain yeah. things you do online or anything? 
Well, I'm kind of like with Jeff on, like, I don't subscribe to any software to manage my clients. I'm like him. I don't have many clients to have a software. So I mainly do text messages, Facebook messages. And then if, you know, when they book me, they book me. And when it comes to a wedding, they always send me like the files directly through that message. And that's how I do it. Okay, so, so you use, okay, so old. you you have multiple areas you're using it in. Okay, would uh, Jeff? Would you? Uh, you said your 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 business doesn't support a portal of having one uh, touch. Do you think for what 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 uh, Brentley said, three hundred fifty dollars for a year for thirty uh, clients? Do you think that would be would fit you, or you'd still want to stay with what you're using now? I'm fine with what I'm using now. Um, for me, it um, it's a little bit more of a personal touch with uh, with my clients. You know, they can reach me on my phone at any time. They text me. I text them back. I email them. I email them uh, or they email me back. Um, and it doesn't go through a software. You know, they uh, they pay me directly. Um, and it's it, it works for me. You know, uh, I'm not at the point where. I need to keep track of multiple clients at a given time. Um, I, I do have multiple clients, but usually it's, um, you know, six months out, it's a book booking, nine months out, it's a booking. Um, usually I, I don't uh, get in contact with them until about 30 days, 45 days out before the event. And then I start, um, you know, pushing for details. And, you know, and that, and it, it, it just works for me to handle it all through email and texting and, uh, it, you know, it, it just works for me. So yeah, and that, if it that's were to be, if I was to get, if I were to get more busy, I might look into some software, Vibo or something, but, uh, for me, it, it works, you know, I get, um, uh, I keep it all on files. I keep every client in a in a file on my uh, computer, and everything that um, that happens that they need, whether it be you know video or uh, audio or or any uh, any the, the contracts, anything that it's it all goes into that file. So I have a client file for every client that I've dealt with. And that that one thing like Vibo, Vibo uh, is a hundred dollars a month, so. If you look at something like again the three fifty for a year, I'm paying you know twelve hundred dollars, one hundred dollars at a time, one hundred dollars a month of Vibo. That right there would be a savings for me. And again, it's it's something you have to look at and say, okay, is it is it would it work for you and so forth. So that's 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 one of the things you have to look at what works for you. And again, like like I tell people all the time, this doesn't mean you have to do what we do. This just gives you ideas so you can figure out what's best for you. Um, I'm going to go over to, um, Dwayne, Dwayne, what do you use for your customer service management software? Do you just, you know, basically have email and text messages and, you know, have them, you know, pay directly, or do you sit there and you have a software that you use like, you know, Squarespace or Square or Vibo or something like that you could send customers to, to have that stuff taken care of? Well, I got three things going. I use mainly HoneyBook because okay. there you can set up um, everything at, on HoneyBook. I have my brochure made from there. I have my questionnaire that I can also um, embed into my website. So everything is all going back to the same spot. And I try to use that as the jump off point, but I use things from there to embed and like my other profiles online. So everything looks consistent, the look is consistent. And then outside of HoneyBook, um, I have Vibo where they can also, com we can communicate back and forth and do the song and timeline thing. And then also I have a digital um, business card through Link that is set up to look almost like my website and have the same features as HoneyBook. So there's like three spots where I can gather um, all the information I need, and then it comes to one spot. And then at the end of the year, and every basically every month, they'll tell you how much money you uh, made and give all the statics of uh, who looked at your profile and all that. That's a cool thing if it tells you who looked at your profile because 
that right there, you can track where stuff is coming from too. That's a that's a marketing key thing there that could help you out. Uh, Jordan Taylor, I know you have a little bit more than just DJing. You have all the event services that you deal with and everything. I know you have a lot of clients. Uh, do you use a software to manage your clients? And if so, uh, what do you use? Or do you have multiple softwares you're dealing with to deal with everything you need to deal with? Because, again, you guys have so many irons in the fire. It's not even funny. So that's a loaded question. Um, <laughs> well, as far I, as I'm you, sorry. As far as communication, we text and email our clients. And um, so I use Zoho CRM, but I have uh, what's called Zoho One. So I use Zoho Mail. I have Zoho Forms. I have everything. So like if I get an email, it already auto files that. So if I go to the client in my CRM and pull them up, every email I sent or anyone in our organization. So like Taylor, or we have a third, like an office account for our office employees. So any email that's sent, you can go in there and see like under that client. Um, it's more designed for like corporate stuff, but um, you know, if someone submits a form on our website, it creates a lead in there and creates a follow-up on Taylor's calendar for two days, stuff like that. Um, sends an email out 20 minutes later, says, we got your reply. And I can put in there, select from a list of replies if I want to, and he'll send that email out two hours later. Um, but yeah, we use Zoho for everything. So it's kind of why I use Zoho CRM. But uh, it's a blank slate when you get it. So like okay. we have sale, like sales IQ on our website is the chat we use. And that makes a lead in our CRM. And we have Zoho Forms and that's our plan where we send our planning. And when the client fills that out, it automatically puts it in under their gig in the CRM and all that. But it had to be built. So it, it's a complete blank slate when you get it. and Okay, so you, you have to basically tell it what you want it to do versus yeah. it looks like it looks like Cherry is, like that. is more preset because on, on their page, um, where is it? Doo -doo -doo -doo. On their page or landing page here, uh, check Cherry. Uh, they have pit, they have like, you know, cartoon images of like a DJ setup and a photo booth. So it looks like it's designed for, and Brentley could probably chime in on this. It looks like it's designed for like our industry, basically. And it looks like it's pretty well set. That is one thing about Zoho that like I was messaging with Brentley and I said, I wouldn't really suggest it unless you know how to set up those workflows and automations with all of the programs together, which is something I do in my day job where because I, I have an it company too so i'm actually a zoho reseller so like okay so what let me ask you this if someone came to you and send you a message in your dms again link down below for his instagram and said hey i like to get that that software you're talking about um and they, you want you to set it up you could do something like that for them for of course for a fee and mm -hmm. set up a, a system for them through your company and resell them the services so that way they have something that works for them, correct? Yes. Okay. That's I actually, um, not, not for any DJs, but there's other small bomb and pop companies I do do that for with Zoho. But I, I honestly, uh, when I'm looking online, the I don't know what it's called. Um, the one Lou Prayer, Paris, Pieris made looks really legit to me when i look at different crms and check cherry and vibo um i can say vibo is great i think taylor likes vibo too uh yeah i've used vibo because the guy that i dj assistant for also like he uses it and you know i'm on it so i can just look through it's nice to see the music they want or the timeline um but i also um, don't mind what we do now. So I don't have a preference. And I'm I could be wrong on this, and I believe you use Vibo, so you can correct me. Um, it does seem like they gear it towards they want all that communication in the app type, not 
texting and emailing? Is that I, I do I do a combination of both when I use Vibo. And uh Dwayne, you use Vibo too, correct? Yep. Yep. So I do a combination of both. I I let them, mm -hmm. you know, message through Vibo, which is great, but they also have my Google Voice number. So they when they text my Google Voice number goes on my computer, goes on my tablet, goes on my phone. You know, it goes everywhere I'm at so I can see that, so I can get instantaneous communication. Because <clears throat> going through Vibo, it comes in as an email. It may take a second or two for that to come along versus on Google, it's it's a, it's a faster time. And that's one of the things I, I look at times a crucial thing. How quick is it hitting my phone? But the thing with Mike and Vibo, which I love about Vibo, is that clients can pick music and put that stuff in there and put links to it. And they, you can organize. And then we, Tracy and I, have what we had, what we called before our wedding checklist made into the Vibo app. So we have our tiles all in there equal to what we used to use for an Excel spreadsheet. Because when a few years ago, we were using Excel and sending people Excel spreadsheets and people would either go through Google Docs or go through something else and screw things up. With Vibo, it gives more control. I don't have to worry about things being messed up. They download an app on their device, either an Apple device or Android device, and they can do whatever they need to do. And I could check real time going into Vibo and seeing where they're at with stuff. And if they're not close to doing something or, or they're missing something, I can send them an email. I can send them a message and say, hey, you didn't pick a song for this. You didn't pick this. You know, I could say, you know, you're drop dead date or the date we're shutting everything down is August 1st. You want to get stuff done. You need more time. You know, and it gives communication. So you can actually check in with the client and say, Hey, uh, I need this done by August 1st. So I can get the music and get everything ready to have our next meeting to verify stuff. So Vibo has a lot of flexibility there, which Tracy and I like because we can do that, but yeah, it's communication side. It, it's, it's not as quick as texting. So there's always pros and cons to everything. Yeah, like we use Zoom phones. So like I text people a lot. Um, that works better <laughs> than yeah, again, you get you get it on your phone, you get it on your tablet, <laughs> yeah. you get anything that's you know connected to it, which is great. Versus yeah. Vibo that goes through our email and our email, even though I have it on my phone, I have it on the computer. I had to have it open to see and then check my email, which I do quite a bit. Trust me. Well, I think we all are slaves to our email for our business. But we also, you know, when you hear a ding on your phone and you look and you, you see it's a text message, uh, it's like, oh, okay, there's a text message here. And like one of the clients we just signed today, uh, we were text messaging back and forth uh, with stuff. And it's, it's for them, it's easy because there's no extra software or anything to do. It's just to them, they just, they're just texting a phone number. Versus me, it's, it's it's you know, on here on my phone, it's on the computer, it's on a tablet. And this way, the other thing is nice with that is that Tracy could be here in the office, read the text messages off of Google Voice on, you know, on, online, and she can do whatever she needs to do, but also she can, you know, uh, not have to worry about, hey, I need your phone to look at this email or this message. It's not, you're locked into one device, you're, you can have multiple devices. So that's, that's a positive side on that. But again, everything, there's, there's pros and cons to every single thing you can think of. Um, but what I like about Bible also at the very, very end, is like when they do their song list, it'll tell you uh, if you sync your music library up with um, Bible, it'll tell you what songs you have. And you can just check it off there and download the um, the playlist right into uh like i use serato and i put it right there so i don't have to manually go in and put it there and they also if you if they pick songs like for different sections it automatically put in that section for you and um your dj software see i'm i guess i'm old school uh <laughs> i like to print it out on paper and actually check it off and we actually bring a hard copy with us every single wedding so when we go to a wedding, we actually have a hard copy of that Vibo sheets so we can go through because they have their, you know, do not play on there, what well, they must play, stuff like that. And it, it, even though we make, again, it's kind of sound old school, we have we have cue cards for stuff with information on there, but I can go back to that sheet and double check and verify because things get fat fingered, things make mistakes. I look at the wrong area. 
I always go back and verify what it is. Uh, Tracy's the keeper of the paperwork, you know, being coordinator and time manager. So she she has that paperwork. But a lot of times, like open dance floor, they have their their must play songs, and we kind of keep it limited to ten, which is nice because they're not giving me a, a song list of 150 songs here. Here's 150 songs I got to play. It's like, okay, no, that's more music than you probably have all night long with speeches and everything like that. And, you know, what about requests? What about this? What about that? So it, it's it's one of the things that um, I, I I do like a lot of things about Vibo. Uh, DJ Fire is in the house. Uh, Adrian E says uh, he is email, text, and Square. Okay, so Square for credit card processing. The other nice thing is Square, you can set payments up. You can do invoicing through there. So you can do a lot with Square. Square is a great, uh, I know QuickBooks, another one you can do a lot with that stuff with too. Uh, Square is kind of like very similar to QuickBooks in a lot of aspects. Uh, when we send a, a contract with Square, there's check marks of what we're doing. So we have a sales screen. So you can check off saying, okay, they're getting this package with this, 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 this. And it shows them on their Square invoice exactly what they're getting as and it mirrors what's on the contract, which is a great thing. Um, working on a few videos to be coming out tomorrow on my YouTube channel. Sorry, I haven't been on lately. Been super no, no, dude. I know you've been super busy because you've been you have had a lot of videos and some of the stuff I've seen. Trust me, I, I've I've seen your videos. You know, between uh, the um, the drone footage and all the landscaping stuff you're doing. You're killing it out there, man. Just keep going where it's going. And that also, you have all your lighting stuff you're doing with uh, Mike, TJ Mike James, who's also been on the show. Great stuff out there. Um, so uh, who did I not? I would say here. I didn't hit Adrian. Uh, Adrian. Um, I didn't hit Tommy. Tommy, what uh, what software you use for uh, for customer service for uh, managing uh, customers? I don't really use any sort of software. Um since like I don't do as many private events as you guys, uh, a lot of my interaction with the customer is going to be just done through email or text. Uh, I just try to, I do something similar to what Matt does. I know he talks about how he'll pin a contact and uh, that way he's able to keep all their information at the top of his mind. So I'll do stuff like that, especially in like text chains and things like that. Otherwise, when it comes to venues I'm playing at, so some of the bars and clubs, I'll just have a straight line of contact with either the booking manager, the, the GM or the owner. Uh, and we pretty much just go from there when it comes to bookings or anything that needs to be taken care of. And that's a cool, that's a cool thing. Again, this is all different people do different things. There's not right or wrong. Dwayne, I asked you, right. Or uh, what software you use. Correct. Yeah, I did honey book. Bible. Okay, that's know. right. Okay, I just want to make sure I don't want to forget no one because this is kind of an interesting thing because we're, uh, I, 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 you know, there's a lot going on, and especially you're trying to think of things it's like what you know this the software to uh, check Cherry is pretty interesting. Again, I will put a link down below to check Cherry, uh, in uh, on YouTube, and I will put a link here in, right here for you guys to check out who are in the chat right now let me do this and there you go so now it's down there in the chat you also have it on youtube so i'll put a link down below on youtube for that so you have that again they have a free uh trial offer for it uh brentley's been using it he used it when he was with his old company and he's continuing to use it he likes it he's used to it and you know, again, if you have questions, you can go into Brentley's DMs and maybe ask him a question or two before you do it. Uh, but that's one of the key things is that, you know, you have to do what's right for you and you feel something works right, great. But also do not be afraid to look at alternatives and give yourself options because the best informed decision is always the best. If you're just stick your head in the sand and say, that's the only thing I do, I do this and that's it then the thing is that stuff may go by you and you may miss things, make your life easier. Because the one thing is that as a business owner, you want to make life easy. You don't want to make it too difficult. Oh, an hour has gone by so fast and so much. It's not even funny. You know, it's like this hour just snap your fingers and it's gone. Adrian, you have a good night. Have fun. So with that said, I want to thank everyone for coming in tonight. I'm trying to think, who do I want to have go out tonight? Let's see here. I think I'm going to pick 
cool thing. I'm gonna pick Hunter. He always likes doing it. He always has fun doing it. So, and Matt's not here. I was gonna pick Matt and drive him crazy, but uh, <laughs> Matt's probably running around somewhere in California having fun. Uh, he had some time in vacation time. Hopefully, he's enjoying himself. But uh, cool thing. Take us away, man. Right. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of the DJ Roundtable. We'll see you all next week. Peace out. Good night, everyone.